Hello, Internet world. Uh, don't try anything you see here at home. Um, Shadow Winter gave me the idea to try so many grams of a bunch of different explosives. ETN, PETN, RDX. Well, I decided to add a mystery explosive that I made that's kind of like a flash powder, but it uses aluminum and sugar as an explosive. And also, I got some nitrocellulose uh, here. But as you can see, I made a plastic puck out of it. Solid as a rock. About as dense as you're going to get it. So we'll test them all out and see what happens. Let's hope the debt caps are good enough to set these all off. Oh, and I forgot to mention, <laughs> although a lot of you have already seen them, these are the little debt caps I use, HMTD. In the straw. It looks like it did nothing. Yep. Nitrocellulose did not detonate. And I keep trying to tell people this too. Even in its densest form, it wouldn't detonate because it's not sealed in something. Stuff has to be sealed in something. Unless you have a huge pile of it. <gasps> Up next, eight grams. We're gonna call it a mystery explosive. Um, like I said, it's that flash powder. Other thing is, I also put holes in these just so, uh, you know, if there's any propane left, it wouldn't change the outcome. That stuff's pretty damn powerful. <laughs> it was all, by the way, I'm using eight grams of everything. That was pretty decent. Oh boy, look at the chunk, it blew straight through it. Wowzers. <laughs> okay, here we go, another test. Oh, uh, the reason why I'm using propane tanks, just so you know, is that I couldn't find a bunch of pieces of metal the same size and the same thickness. So I said, screw it, I have a bunch of these and use them. <laughs> Up next is the ETN. Never put these two together until you're ready to use it, boys and girls, because uh, you can blow yourself up. Eight grams of ETN. <laughs> A lot more powerful than the flash. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's funny, it's actually blowing holes through my tub that I put there as a shield to stop people out in the field if there was anybody from getting hit. Look at that. That's ETN, eight grams. Now we're gonna try some PETN. Done the same way, eight grams. Boy, that was impressive. Oh, 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 yeah. It's even more powerful than the ETN. I mean, the, uh, you know, the last one, the PETN is more powerful. Very interesting. Now for the RDX. Eight grams of RDX. I keep doing those same two holes. It is more powerful than the PETN. Uh, it did bend it, but it doesn't look like it's ridiculously more powerful. Okay, so that's RDX. Hold on. ETN. Mystery stuff. The Flash. And PETN. And of course, the nitrocellulose, it did nothing because it's not inside of a metal tube. If you put it in a metal tube and then have it go off, it'll definitely wreck this thing. But you can't just set it out in the open like most, unless you have a giant pile. And now just to show you the deck caps, it did nothing to the can, I'll set one off with just a deck cap. Okay, so here we go. Just the deck cap. That's just the deck cap, so I don't even need to hide, and it can even hurt it. <laughs> like a little firecracker. All right. Yeah, so I was actually expecting my shield here to stop shrapnel from flying out the back. Uh, yeah, see, it didn't know. They put a little dent in it. That's it. But uh, it stripped the ground of grass right here, and it actually blew friggin' holes in the back of it. I'm pretty, su pretty surprised. And I was hiding behind that plow the whole time. All right. Well, thanks for watching.